Can I have attention please? Can I have attention please? Thank you. Can I have your attention please? Okay, thank you. What is a rational function? Okay, we're going to sketch rational functions. There are many kinds. Uh, but typically, a rational function is of this form. Look here. Uh, this is the classic. Yeah, I won't say classic, but it's an example here. As strong as numerator. Can As long as the numerator is a polynomial, the denominator is a polynomial, that is an example of a rational function. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cover a few a few cases of rational functions and we see how to tackle them. Okay? Now case one. A rational function is improper and of this form linear divided by linear. Improper just means that the, the order of the numerator is bigger than or equal to the order in the denominator. Correct? Yes? Just remember a simple rule of thumb. Um, as long as the rational function is improper, you just do long division. Don't wait, just do long division. Okay? I don't care how you do it. I will get it. Okay? You can try on your own, make sure you get it. Hey, why so much talking? Can ah? you have attention? Look! What is the horizontal asymptote? From this form. Because you can't see the horizontal asymptote from this form. You can see it from here because it extends to infinity. This whole thing tends to zero. The horizontal asymptote is y equals to... Okay, that's too much talking. Thank you. As x tends to infinity, this whole thing tends to zero, y behaves like two, so we get it something like that. Okay. Uh, what is the vertical asymptote? Are we all very sure or are we all very clear that as x tends to 3, the whole denominator tends to 0, the whole thing tends to infinity, therefore, all okay, yes, we are not about, for this example at least, We are not about to sketch. The question only asks us to find a symptom. All right, so we just leave it as it is. We can find the symptoms. That's all. Case two. Um, slightly different from case one. Case one is linear divided by linear. Case two is quadratic divided by linear. It's improper still. Then we do long division. Okay, this long division we can, I think, do together. Okay, we can do this together. We can get 3x. We get 3x squared plus 12x. Alright. Then we get negative 14x. Oh, sorry, then we need to have a plus zero, right? All right, then negative in x minus, oh, sorry, minus 14 here, 56, then plus zero. Then you get 56 and this one. So, 
the quotient now is 3x minus 14 the remainder now is 56 over is now 56 and we are there are we able then to read from this form the vertical asymptote actually vertical asymptote don't need to read from this form you can actually read from here correct as denominator you look at the denominator you will know denominator you will know yes yeah remember to record Vertical asymptote therefore is x equals to negative 4. Because as x tends to negative 4, the whole thing tends to infinity. What about oblique, oblique, oblique asymptote? Because as x tends to infinity, this thing tends to 0. Correct? Then y behaves like 3x minus 14. Okay. Okay. I think we are about done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. See you on Wednesday.